is Matthew 17, 20. He said to them, because of your little faith. For truly I tell you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. You may be seated. Good morning, everyone. (laughs) Buenos dias. Uh, It's really my pleasure to be here with you guys this morning. Um, I'm really excited about the music and and everything, the smiles. You guys are seem like really welcoming and really happy to be here, even on a Sunday, nine o'clock, when I think at this time is when people is probably waking up and getting waffles and trying to be late for the 11 o'clock service. Uh, and you guys are here with a huge smile. So this is, this is, this is, this is really good. So as been said, my name is Ernesto Enrique Barriguete Rosales. Uh, it will be a quiz right after that. So Ernesto Enrique Barriguete Rosales, Director of Race, Equity, and Justice Ministries of the North Carolina Conference of the United Methodist Church. I have really long titles in my name, I, in, in my life, I guess. That's what it is. So, so, so I have the pleasure to be serving into this conference now for about 12 years. Uh, I grew up uh, in Mexico. Uh, in, in, in the Methodist Church, which is a very surprising because I'm in Mexico, normally like 90, 93% of the people is Catholic. So I'm a few of the Protestants, and in, in that, I'm one of the few that grew up being Methodist. So, so it's been a blessing for me that when I came to the United States, I went to different congregations, different churches, and then suddenly I went back to the Methodist Church. I felt like it was home. I got my call to ministry. I came to Duke Divinity uh, in 2011. I started as a, as a student pastor, and I've been serving here, and it's been my pleasure, and then God called me to this position that I'm doing now six years ago. And, and, and I want to tell you that today passage or today text, which is only one verse, has been a bittersweet text for my life. You know, and, 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 and now after this, the, the whole sermon will be in Spanish because the, 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 I'm just kidding. Uh, um, the, 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 the song is, and the mountain will move. And let me tell you why it's a bittersweet. It is because they, in the, I, when I got called to be a student pastor, I got called to serve in a Hispanic Latino congregation. And in a way, they have a song that sings this all the time. If you have faith as a little mustard seed, you know, this is what the Lord says. You will tell to the mountain, move away, move away, and the mountain will move, and the mountain will move away. And it's a whole song, and it's a dancing. I'm not going to make you do the dancing, but, but this, is, this is, la montaña se moverá. Si tuvieras fe como un grano de mostaza, esto lo dice el Señor. And it's a salsa. It's kind of like a cumbia song. So it's like, you can imagine. Y la montaña se moverá, se moverá, se moverá. Y la montaña se moverá, se moverá. And it's like so good and so moving. Yet, I mean, when I come every Sunday, and they start remembering, truly I tell you, if you have faith as a small mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and you will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. These words highlight the incredible capacity of faith to move mountains, to overcome any circumstances they have. And as I reflect every single time we sang that song and I spent time with the congregation in Unidos por Cristo, it was hard for me to see where their faith can come from. In Unidos por Cristo, the time that I was serving, all the adults, and let me tell you, all the adults but me, they were undocumented immigrants. They faced challenges of the whole community, right? They live with constant fear of being separated with their families. They have the fear to be stopped by the police. And sometimes the same police guy, that they already knew who they were, and give him a ticket every week. 
I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. They knew who they were, and they were already waiting for them because they knew them, right? They faced the struggles of, of, of going sometimes even to church and being stopped because they didn't have a driver's license. They had the challenge to go to the hospitals and, and, and the doctor asking them if they have legal documents. They go to the problem that if they had cancer, they might not have received the appropriate medical care, right? And yet still, and still, in the middle of that, they still come and say, if I have faith, the mountains will be moved. Maybe uh, this, this, this community that I serve witness firsthand all the difficult that people had to overcome, all the barriers, all the injustice, and I'm not talking only about the migrant communities because I know this, this reality is for the black community, the Asian community, the, the, the poor white people, the educated, the uneducated. I mean, but, but, but firsthand I came to serve in the middle of this community that in the middle of all the struggles, in the middle of everything that they were going through, they were able to come to the church. And despite of all the hardships, all the members united in one song saying, si tuvieras fe como un grano de mostaza, la montaña se moverá. If you had faith, like a little mustard seed, the mountain will be moved. Their belief in God and the power of hope of a better future feel their sanctuary every Sunday. Like I said in the beginning, I must confess, I struggle to understand their faith, particularly in the political system. How could they hold on to the hope that one day things are gonna change for them? How can they believe that they will be fully welcomed and accepted by the community? But I realized something about something really profound. Their faith was not rooted in the political system or in the actions of others. Their faith was grounded in the relationship they had with God, who they believe that has the power to move mountains and change hearts. They saw in Jesus words that promised that nothing is impossible for him. Particularly, I remember Gerardo, Gerardo was at that time a 17 year old and he was an excellent young man and student. He had huge dreams. Even that he lived in a rural area, he dreamed to be a model, to go to New York and study fashion marketing, and on top of being a great son, a great brother, a great student, a great friend, he was a great church member. All of the members of his family start coming to the church because he was constantly coming to the altar and praying for them to be there with him. And yet, because of his legal status and decision that his parents made 14 years ago to brought him to the U.S. when he was little, right? In, in order for him to have a better future, despite of that, just for the decision that the parents made, he seemed to be to have no future at all. At 17, all the dreams to go to college, to go to New York, to go to fashion marketing, all of those things were impossible for him because the system says that if you don't have the right documentation, you cannot move forward. You don't have a future. You don't have hopes. And still, he was coming Sunday after Sunday. And with his family, he got up and they sang, en la montaña se moverá, en la montaña se moverá, and the mountain will be moved. And they did it in a place of, of, of fear or pain or sorrow. They made it from a place of hope, a place of waiting for a better future. But how can you have faith when everything is against you? How can you have faith when everything is against you? Today's text comes from the story after Jesus is healing a young boy from a demon possessed. 
And then is when the people come and ask him, Lord, how do you do that? How can you make those great things, right? And then thus we know what he responds. But let's talk a little bit what it means for, for Jesus to do what he's did. During the time of Jesus, the, 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 the family and the boy that were demon possessed, it has a lot of social implications. One, the stigma and the marginalization, marginalization that, that, that people who were sick or illness or had any condition had at that time. Where people, the, the boys that he was possessed, him and his family were in social isolation, judgment, and even accusations of wrongdoing. They might be seen as impure and cursed by the community. Also, maybe if they wanted to come and search for a spiritual, the, the, the demon possessed has role of, of religion and, 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 a spirit, and, a spirit, and spirituality that make it look and not maybe not even able to come to church. Demon possession was often seen as perceived as a spiritual or religion issue during that time. The boy's family might have sought help from religious leaders or healers, but they still probably were rejected. Probably because of the, 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 the condition, they didn't have access to health care. The boy's maybe family having to struggle to find an adequate health care or assistance to their son's condition. In a society where medical knowledge and resources were limited, they might fight, fight, face a skepticism of the exploitation from those who claim to have remedies or cures. And the community dynamics of the boy's possession also lead to find that cure. The relation with the local community, they might have caused divis division and skepticism among people who witnessed the, the, everything that was happened to them, right? And because whoever come and close to them and there to help him will be challenging the authority on the powers and the structures of that time. As you can see, this boy who was demon possessed maybe was experienced very similar, no difference to those immigrant communities that we have today. Those who cannot have access to health care, those that sometimes if they come to church instead of find a welcoming, Sometimes they feel rejected. Maybe those if like in law in, in Florida now that if, if, if you are undocumented and someone is driving you to church or the pastor is taking you to a same place, you can afford and they can, they, they can have prison time and you can be sent and, and, and your family will not see you anymore. Maybe the, the challenges and the struggle are very similar. How is that we can make this boy free? The people ask. How is that you can de deliver him and his family from the stigma of marginalization, from religion, from the access to healthcare, to the community dynamics, to the authority and power of the structure? And Jesus replies to them, if you had faith as a little mustard seed, you can do bigger things. You can even move mountains. I don't know about you, but many times I feel really like a failure. You were talking about how tiny, tiny, tiny a mustard seed needs to be to move mountains. But let me tell you, sometimes it's such a failure that I have even trouble to have faith enough to get up of my bed and pray. I mean, let's be honest. If we had that faith, why we are not moving mountains? Why we are not going to the hospitals and raising up the dead? And it is not maybe because is we don't have no faith or little faith. Maybe sometimes it's because we don't fully understand what having faith means for us. So here I was in Unidos por Cristo coming every Sunday. And our brothers and sisters were singing in La Montaña Se Moverá, Se Moverá. And I'm here seeing them crying, praying, hoping. And I'm having doubts about what's going to happen to them. Maybe, maybe the faith that I was looking, it was not what I wanted to be. 
Maybe I discovered that before my ability to see and perform miracles, it is the empower of the collective action to address the, societal, the, the social changes that we face. Just as we believe on the power of casting demons, we also have the power to change and transform the very, the very fabric of our communities. I learned this because one day I got invited while, while after praying, uh, with, I, I remember this night very well. It was, a, it, was, it was a Friday night, we gathered to pray, and, and, and Gerardo came to us, and, 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 and he asked to pray because he wanted to go to college. And he wanted us to pray for that. And at that time, DACA was not accepted. Like, I think it was like maybe a month after that, I got invited to Washington, D.C. To, 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 to speak with senators and legislators. And, 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 and then I met a group of people that were gathering together to talk to senators and legislators about the DREAM Act. As a result of our congregation, I saw a little girl. She was 14 year old, undocumented immigrant who came from Guatemala. At 14 year old, she came from California, flew to DC, and he got in front of everyone to tell them about the needs of the community. Thanks to the, 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 that, after, after work and legislative work, the DREAM Act passed. For that reason, Gerardo and many other people in the congregation, all the youth were able to attend college. He was not able to make it all the way to New York, but he studied marketing over there in Greenville, North Carolina, in ECU. But you see, it took the power of a lot of people to drive and fly and walk to DC, raise up their voice, go into the congressmen and women, to ask for a dream act. I think this is the statement of faith that we have. This is the way that sometimes miracles happen. We as United Methodists, our social principles inspire us by God's active to be engaged in love. It calls us to respond and take stand against injustice. The United Methodist Church reminds us that our faith is not passive that we are not called to be mere observers, but to actively inter interpret God's love and respond to the complex and controversial issues of our time. You see, this is our faith. Our faith is not only to wait for God to make miracles. Our faith is for us to be actively bringing heaven to earth for us to be challenging the injustice of the world. So when we align our faith and action, we can move mountains, mountains that oppress people, mountains that exclude and marginalize. It is through our collective efforts that we have the power to transform communities and dismantle the system that perpetuate injustice. Perhaps in, the, in our midst there are people who are voiceless, hoping for us to take action and move accordingly with the beliefs that we profess. By embodying our faith through the collective action, we can become advocates for justice and be beacons of hope to those who are waiting for change. I can still hear the song of our community, not only for the Hispanic community, but I can hear the voice of those people around us singing, y la montaña se moverá, and the mountain will be moved. This song captures the, the essence of our faith. The beliefs of the mountains can be moved, the obstacles can be overcome, and the transformation is possible. Today we are being called to respond to that song. We are, we are the ones that can open our sanctuaries, not just to those who are already within our walls, but to everyone, regardless of their background, their status, their race, whatever challenge they might face. We can be the ones to let the world know that our faith truly stands. That we, as United Methodists, we embrace love, justice, and inclusivity. It is not enough to say it. We have to get it out to the streets. We are calling to our neighborhoods, to our communities, reaching out to those who are marginalized, to those who are oppressed, for those who have no hope, to those who have fear to drive or those who have 
or they don't know where to come their next paycheck. We can be the ones who can cast the demon of apathy in our community. For those who refuse to be passive, we can be the ones, let me say that again, we can be the ones to refuse to be passive. Those who decide not to be observers of the injustice that is going in the world. Let us remember that our faith is not in, 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 in a solo game. It is not called in, in, in loneliness. But it's an endeavor that is takes the, the collective Together we can move the mountains, dismantle the stigma, transform the society. It is in our unity. It is in our unity with those who are in suffering that we can change the outcome. So my friends, I pray that as we leave this sacred place, that we can carry that song with us, with us in our hearts. Let us be the ones can help move mountains. Let open our arms to amplify the voices of the marginalized. And by standing against the forces that seeks to divide us, may our faith inspire the outcasts to come and feel welcome in our church. May our faith also to cast out the demon of apathy. Let our faith to embrace these times of changes in our community. Together, let us sing this song of faith. La montaña se moverá. Let us pray. If you had faith as a little mustard seed, this is what the Lord says. You could tell to the mountain, move away, and that mountain will be removed. <coughs> Lord, we believe this, Lord. I know I don't have the power to do it. I don't have the power sometimes even to move my own needs, my own feelings, my own desires, my own apathy, Lord but I trust that you can, Lord. Before I ask you to move mountains, Lord, I ask you to move each and one of us that whatever is in our hearts, whatever apathy we carry, whatever blindfold that we have, be removed, Lord so that we can see and we can hear the singing of the people on the streets asking for a miracle, Lord. Help us to see what are the things that needs to be removed. Help us to see what is it that we need to change within our lives so that we can help to move the needs of the community, Lord. There are people out there crying there are people out there suffering, but there is still people out there waiting for a light of hope. Help this congregation to become that light. Help us that each of us can take a little bit of who we are and help to move those mountains, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.